Hey guys, it's Sarah here from Sarah Soaps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make miniature fall soap favors. They are perfect as giving little gifts at Thanksgiving or just passing along to friends and family. They're great for the fall season. So let's get started and I will be sure to leave a list of all the things you will need for this project down in the description box below. So first I'm starting off with a regular plastic container and I'm just making sure it's a little bit taller and I am going to be lining up my acorn cookie cutter at the bottom and I'm going to be making one mark at the top of the cookie cutter and another where the lid or the hat of the acorn and the body meet. And I'm just going to draw that across and that is going to be a guide for our layers. So now I'm just going to chop up and melt my melt and pour in a heat safe container in 30 second intervals. Now you can use clear or white, just depends on whatever look you are going for. I'm using clear and I'm going to be adding a little bit of titanium dioxide. So now I'm just taking it out, stirring, making sure everything's mixed, and let's get ahead and start making our acorns. Here I'm just adding a little bit of titanium dioxide to whiten up my base, and then I'm going to be using a natural colorant. So I'm going to take some cocoa powder and spray with some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to whisk and make sure that there are no lumps left and it is very fluid. After that, all I'm going to do is start adding little by little of the cocoa powder in to make a nice light brown color for the base of our acorn. I'm going to scent it with a little bit of essential oil and just make sure to use the proper amount for the amount of soap that you are using. And then I'm just going to mix well and make sure it's all incorporated. I'm going to grab my container again and spray with rubbing alcohol and I'm going to fill up my container to that first long line that we made and then after that I'm going to spray again with some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to set it aside not in the fridge but let it form a skin on top. I'm going to repeat the same process again this time adding a little bit more cocoa powder to get a darker color once my layer has formed and there's a skin on top, I'm going to spray with rubbing alcohol and carefully and gently, making sure my soap's not too hot, pour the last bit of the dark soap on top, just making sure to fill up to that line that we marked before. After I've poured all my soap, I'm going to set that aside and let it cool fully. I don't want to put it in the fridge because I don't want my layers to separate. Now onto the fall leaves. I'm going to melt my base and I'm going to scent it with a little bit of an effervescent orange fragrance oil as well as some cinnamon essential oil. I think that these two just pair perfectly for fall. And then I'm going to use a little bit of titanium dioxide again and I'm going to roughly split my batter into three portions. This doesn't have to be exact because we're just going to mix them all and form a very thin layer on the bottom of our next mold. And once I've split them up, I'm going to start coloring. So I'm going to make a yellow, an orange, and a red. And I just think that these colors perfectly represent fall and the changing leaves. And when we're working with them, they're going to blend beautifully. And I'm also adding just a little bit of gold skin safe glitter to represent the little shimmer in the leaves. Now I'm taking a flexible silicone mold, sprayed it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I'm just randomly pouring my colors in doesn't matter where, it does not have to be perfect, and then I'm going to use a chopstick and somewhat swirl the colors together. I'm going to spray with rubbing alcohol and I'm going to set that aside to fully harden. When all of your soap has fully hardened, I'm going to pop them both out of the mold and use my leaf cookie cutter and start cutting out my leaf shapes. Now for my acorns, all I'm going to do is take that mini loaf we made and cut slices going up and down so you have a dark brown section on top a tan section on the bottom and I'm going to line up the cap of my acorn with the dark brown and the body of my acorn with the tan. And once you have cut all of your shapes so we can start assembling the little favors. This is what they look like when they have been cut out and you can see the acorn colors perfectly line up with the shape and the little bit of gold glitter in the leaves. And once all your shapes have been cut out, we're going to take a little cellophane bag and I just made a funnel out of paper to help me put in the soaps easier. It helps to reduce the soap streaks going in. So you can put as many or as little as you like. Fill up the bag and then once you're finished, all you can do, I'm using a little bit of raffia 
So I'm just tying a couple knots and I made some cute little happy fall printouts. If you want them, just get a hold of me on my social media or send me an email and I will definitely send you the file so you can print them out yourself. And here's what they look like guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you make these, give them out to friends, family, and have fun with it. This is just a fun little fall project that anybody can do. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!